Immunologists have, have known about autoimmunity for many decades and have had, I guess, some of the, the basic mechanisms in place. But what's happened in recent years is that immunology, like the rest of biomedical research, has really um, come of age in the um, genomic age and with molecular biology tools to really um, fill in the details and work out the mechanisms, genetics, interplay of genetics and environment, um, and answer questions that we've, we've, we've long been waiting to answer. I'm Mark Peekman, I'm Professor of Clinical Immunology, and I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Clinical and Experimental Immunology. For my selection of articles for this virtual issue, I'm just going to highlight one or two of the areas that I've focused upon. The first is the area that's very dear to me, very close to my uh, research interest, and that's type 1 diabetes. It has been thought for many years that this is an immune-mediated disease, but the exact pathways involved, whether they be adaptive or innate, whether they involve T cells or B cells, that's become a little bit more murky and controversial in the last couple of years. And so I was really happy to receive an article trying to capture uh, a lot of that evidence and a lot of that discussion and put it into a, a context that we can use going forward. And Stuart Mannering's article does that particularly well, I think. I think one of the holy grails of immunology in recent years has been that um, immunologists have moved from what I would call our period of, um, of, kind of creative swagger of having many subsets of lymphocytes that we imagined to be there to having the tools to actually um, put them in place, um, work out what these subsets mean, work out what we mean by um, polarization of cytokine profiles and um, subset specialization. And one of the, the lingering questions has always been um, where do the initial cues come from to do this polarization? Um, and now we, we really, in recent years, have the tools um, to look at that, not least from some of the big um, transcriptome consortia. And in this virtual issue, we put together um, some of the information um, from, from those studies in terms of um, the role of, of things like um, mate cells, mucosal associated invariant T cells, and INK T cells, um, invariant nat natural killer T cells, um, to really try and put into perspective for readers um, where these kind of cells that stand at the, the interface, if you like, between innate and adaptive immunity um, come into play in polarization in autoimmune responses. An aspect of the journal that I have really tried to promote since I became editor-in-chief has been to capture activity that doesn't fall into autoimmunity or infectious disease, but really lies in the field of clinical immunology practice. In particular, the UK constituency around clinical immunology uh, have been fabulous in sending articles into us, and we've had some wonderful perspectives and series and themed issues. And so, in this particular themed issue, I was really happy to bring in an article on IgG4-related disease. It's a relatively new area of interest, uh, but I can see that article being a real landmark um, of telling us where we are in, in understanding how this disease arises and what its consequences are.